for we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Paul said in the letter to the Ephesus church, we are his workmanship. We have become a new creation through his redemption of us. Why did he do this? It was to free us from our past lives of sin and evil and enable us to live good lives for good deeds. How long has this good work been in place? It has been prepared since before creation itself. God truly desires us to respond to his redemptive grace and lead good lives for good works. Through this, He wants us to cherish the grace bestowed upon us and guide many individuals to God. This is true. Our transformation into a new creature in Christ is the result of God's new creation. Just as humanity was created on the sixth day of creation, new humanity was born through the death, resurrection, and ascension of Christ. Therefore, the expectation of God who acted in this new creation is evident. God desired that the new humanity would respond to his grace by doing good deeds instead of engaging in evil due to sin. Good deeds are not a condition for salvation. They do not affect salvation. This is similar to when God created humans on the sick day of creation. No human merit was involved in the process at all. Our being born again is the result of new creation. So it is impossible for those who have not yet been born to contribute to the creation. Engaging in good works is, in fact, proof to show that we have been reborn through God's grace. Good works have been in God's plan since before creation. If we are among those who have received redemption, we should respond to God's grace by engaging in good works according to his will. We do not possess any ability to do good deeds on our own. But God provides us with his power. His power raised Jesus Christ from the dead and ascended him to heaven. This power has saved us and empowered us to live in good deeds. Even though the world may hold dislike towards those who belong to God, the church has been able to survive because it contains good works. The purpose of our good deeds is not to establish religious superiority over others. The essence of good deeds is love and the foundation of that love is refraining from doing evil to others. The Lord does not repay us with evil but bestows his love upon us. Truly, those who understand such love do not commit evil deeds, especially towards the church. Both performing evil deeds and good deeds towards the church are all spiritual actions. This is because, on the last day, the Lord will repay each person with eternal things for their all deeds, including both good and evil. Let us not underestimate the significance of good deeds. Not should we ignore this fundamental nature of our faith. Through our good lives, let us safeguard our spirits and represent his righteousness so that more people can come to know God.